Good morning, Lakers. Mr. Reem here with this week's Morning Minutes. And this week, for our juniors and seniors, we're going to have a quick EMT check-in. And you might be wondering, what the heck is an EMT check-in? At the start of the year, we have some important checks to make sure that we're ready to start this year strong. We'll jump into each letter in just a bit, but E is for emotional check-in, the M is for a motivational check-in, and the T is for a transcript check. To get us started, I want you to think about or write down where your emotional status is today, using the scale that you see on the screen. Zero, being your emotional space, is in a pretty good place. A five, being somewhere in the middle. Maybe you have something on your mind, but you can still find the energy to focus. And 10, being that you're having a hard time managing your emotions or behaviors. No matter what number you're on for today, try to take about 30 seconds to think about or write down two to three things that you find help you when your emotions or stress levels are high. It may not bring them from an eight to a zero, but what helps it, maybe go from an eight to a 6.5. These numbers will change over time and you will likely flow throughout the whole spectrum. However, if you find yourself are under six or seven or higher and have a hard time finding your way back out of that space or you feel like you're there pretty regularly, it's a great idea to talk to a trusted adult, me, your school counselor, or Hillary maybe in the Wellness Center. We can help support you as well as provide some thoughts and tips if you're open to ideas. The M is for motivation. Many students start the school year off with a decent level of motivation. A new year often means a fresh look, a fresh set of teachers, a fresh grade book, and generally better approach to school. Think about what's motivating you this year. Maybe it's to be eligible to play sports, Maybe it's to go to college. Maybe it's to make your parents or family or friends proud. Maybe it's to prove your teachers wrong. Whatever the reason, maybe write two of these things down somewhere. The easiest way to keep motivation up is to remind yourself constantly of what you're working for or towards. Take one or two of these motivational factors and try to be creative with them this week. Write a poem, a song, draw a picture, or create a visual that you can put up in your room or home that you can look at when you're feeling unmotivated. This year will be full of new experiences for everyone, both good and bad. We often need a reminder of where we're headed. The last check is T for transcripts. As a junior or senior, we want to make sure that you're on track to wrap up high school successfully. While some things are a little easier being digital, many are tougher, and reviewing your transcripts just happens to be one of the things that gets tougher. But it's still very important. This week, I'd ask that you access your grade level Google Classroom page and download the NTHS graduation check and A through G check documents that you'll see posted there. You can use those forms digitally to go over your transcript that you can access on ARIES. These will be helpful to download so you can cross off your requirements as you look over your transcripts in high school graduation status pages. A few general notes before I show you quickly how to access your transcripts and grad status pages. First, on the graduation status page, it's not counting the second half of your current classes in the total number of units. For example, if you're a senior, it will likely show that you're enrolled in five credits of English 12, but you still need five credits. That will come in the second half of the class, so be sure that you look at the number of credits. Another thing to note is that you should pay extra special attention to anything you may have failed with an F or haven't taken yet. If you're missing subject areas, like not having a CTE course yet, or have an F that wasn't repeated, you probably should connect with me soon so we can take a look together and potentially fix your schedule. If you have any questions or concerns, it is important to ask. Please email me first with your question, and then we may need to set up a follow-up meeting together to talk once I have a chance to take a look at where you're at on your transcripts. When you log into Aries, you may notice it looks kind of different, and we're going to be using our Chromebook or laptop or desktop computer to be doing this. This is not something that I would suggest doing on a phone. So when you log in, you're going to be heading over to the grades tab. In the old system, it used to be at the top. Maybe it is for us on our district, but generally it's going to be in the grades tab at the top or on the side, depending on what your screen looks like. You're going to click on the grades tab, and then there's two places primarily we're going to be checking out to check our transcripts. Number one is going to be the transcripts option. Okay, if you click on that, it's going to show you all of your grades to date. OK, 
Okay, this does not, this will not show you what you're enrolled in right now. And generally it starts at the top with the lowest grade and scrolls down to the bottom with your highest level. All right, and you'll see the course title, the grade, the credits completed. All right, this is handy. You might have a print option, which could be helpful. So look over this real quick. You're gonna to wanna to pay attention up here, credits attempted and completed, okay? If these two numbers are not equal, that likely means you didn't pass a certain class. That might be something to look for in your transcript to make sure that you've had that repeated if needed. The next area is the graduation status page. Should be under the same section. Go ahead and click the grad status up button. If given the option, you might wanna select show credit details. This is gonna show you what classes are here. Might be nice to be able to check to make sure everything's right. A couple notes, if you're a new student, your transcript is likely not in our system yet, so you might have to wait up on this, but likely since we enrolled you recently, I went over this pretty heavily with your current transcript. The second thing is, sometimes classes don't necessarily seem like they belong in the right spot. For example, if you look down here, you'll see there's a world language requirement, and this student took Spanish one. However, Spanish two, um, one and two here, end up in the electives category. Generally, once a minimum requirement for each of these different subject areas are met, it will filter down and fill elective credits. So that's kind of how it works. These are the courses completed and the different subject areas required for graduation. It's gonna show you the courses that you're enrolled in this year. All right, so you'll be able to see what classes you have, keeping in mind what I said earlier about the second half of the classes. That will show up in the not completed area. For example, this student hasn't completed and is not enrolled in at least in the first term, a visual or performing arts area. That would prevent them from graduating, so you might want to reach out on that. All right, so that's an important thing to check. If you print this, you can also download this and maybe write on it if you wanted to. The other area, and this would be for your A through G check, would be clicking on the college entrance requirements. So this is going to show you where you're at with those different uh, UCs and CSU requirements here. It's going to give you a preliminary UC and CSU GPA, tell you if you met them or not. If you're a junior, you're probably not meeting them yet. You still have some requirements to meet, but it kind of gives you an idea. Another note here for this, especially if you've taken uh, coursework outside of the TTUSD system, say for example at Sierra College, or you transferred in after your sophomore year, or you took a BYU class or things like that. The way that the system works on our end makes it tough for it to count these. Okay, so if you took some of those classes, you need to keep in mind that this system is not perfect. It might show that you've met those on your graduation status, but it might show you that you need to still complete that to meet your A through G requirements. Once again, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'd much rather answer 100 questions, but make sure that it's right, than have you ignore it and have something impact you in the future. So please email me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching this week's Minute Meetings, and I'll be back in the future weeks, probably every Thursday or so. Every once in a while, it might be twice a week, Sometimes it'll be up to 10 minutes. Sometimes it might be two or three minutes. And we're going to be varying our topics. We'll talk about some social emotional stuff. We'll talk about college and career information. We'll talk about academic supports that we have and ideas to help you be successful, both in distance and in-person learning. So I'll also leave you with a positive or interesting quote or comment each of these sessions. This one comes from Aldous Huxley, who's an English writer and philosopher. And what he says is that experience is not what happens to you. It's what you do with what happens to you. Thank you for watching. It's great to have you guys back in class, even, even virtually. But I look forward to working with you guys from a distance and then hopefully getting to see you guys in person very soon.